Journalist of the Year given by the Ghana Journalists Association in 2006. Komla joined the BBC African Service in London as host of the radio program Network Africa. There we have some of the family members of Komla. They're all here to receive the body. And that's the wife in the shot. The wife of Komla Dumo, just in your shot previously, Kwansma Dumo. And uh, just in your shot right now, the father of the late Komla Dumo. Professor Ernest Dumo, in your shot a while ago, family of Komla Dumo. You also saw his wife, Kwansma. The Professor Ernest Dumo, father of Komla Dumo, is seated next to. Mr. Egbeho there in your show. And that's um, the wife of the late Komla Dumo, Kwansma Dumo, seated next to his sister, Mawena Treba. As well as spokesperson for the family, Esther Koba. towards the area where the family members are waiting to arrive the body of the late broadcaster from Najimo. The family members are still in a very, very, very sober mood. We just saw the wife of the late from Najimo, Kwansma, as well as his sister, Marina Trevor, his father, Professor Jumo, and as well as Mr. Goho, seated in the front row where the family is seated and waiting to formally receive the body of the late Komla Dumo. And uh, Selikem, what a lot of people don't know is that Komla Dumo actually started his career with GBC as a national service person with the then schools department of GBC. And uh, I think that program then, in those days, it was called the school's broadcast. Uh, did you ever hear about that? Yes, I, I heard about that, um, Abdul, that his broadcasting career, though he did not continue with the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, actually started with uh, the Broadcasting Corporation as a national service personnel. And I understand that is where he also found his um, interest in the job and would have loved to be with TV, but unfortunately did, did not get the opportunity uh, to stay longer as as you can notice, at the GBC. Uh, the body is uh, the body of our uh, so brother, the body. and the four bearers will hand over the body to the royal guards of Abao traditional area. That is what we are noticing. The mortal remains of our brother, Kona Dumo, is being carried by the four bearers who will hand over the body to the royal guards of the Abau traditional area. That is what you are witnessing right now. Okay, 
It's been handed over to the royal guards of the Amplao traditional area. Thank you, the poor bearers. As you witness, the traditional guards of the Aflau state have mortal remains of our dear brother Kobla Afaka Dubon. And this is just the beginning of the traditional rites. And what we popularly say in Ewe, Ochi Fogarani. So I'm witnessing the preparation for the traditional rites are just beginning. And Tokyo have taken charge. And the elder Zotu will be leading the traditional rites. Professor, Professor, you are the commander of the 
At this juncture, I would like to call on Toki Titi Amanya Lefebvre, the Paramount Chief of uh, Afau State, to come and officially receive the body. Toki Titi. Toki Titi is coming with his retinue. Pokliao, 
Okay, let's get uh, something to your music. Just give us one song. This is GTV's and GBC 24's live coverage of the arrival of the body of Komla Dumo. We're coming to you live from the Kotuka International Airport here in Accra. And uh, the body has been received by the family after some uh, traditional rituals were performed. Selikim, can you explain to us uh, what was happening and what they were saying in the Ewe language? Exactly what we just saw was the traditional um, rituals by the traditional people of the Aflao land, exactly where Komla Dumo comes from. Now, as soon as the body came to where the chief was, that's the, the chief of Aflao, Togbi Afeti the fifth, when he, before he received the body, he saw that libation was poured right in front of the body. And before the chief then approached to receive the body. Now, he mentioned Komla Dumo's name three times and also mentioned his, um, his name as he was known because he was a chief of, a youth chief of Aflau and mentioned that three times as well. And then when there was no response, he formally welcomed the body of Komla Dumo, and that's what we just saw. Uh, now, let's listen to the MC and what uh, he's saying. Colleagues, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all one more time 
and also to introduce the family hearing guarded. Togwi, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce the Chief of Staff, Mr. Prosper Douglas Bani, who is representing the President of the Republic of Ghana. I would like to introduce Togwi Piti, Paramount Chief of Aflau State, Togwi Kwasra, Ankara the fourth, Togwi Anobo, the fourth of Aflau, and Togwi Basaku, the fourth of Aflau traditional area. Mama Dramado the first, known in public life as Jifa Gomashi, who is the minister, sorry, who is the deputy minister of tourism, culture, and creative arts. And she also doubles as the chief protocol officer of Aflao traditional area. Honorable Fifi Kwete, the MP of Ketu South, is also among us. And he's also a minister of state at the presidency. I would like to... Uh, I would like to welcome Mrs. Difa Ativo, Minister of Transport. I would like to welcome Brigadier General Lord Ativo, who is the head of the Dumont and Ally families. He also doubles as a member of the Flower Traditional Council of Elders. I would like to welcome Mr. Komla, Do Komla Deku, who is the General Secretary of the Council of Elders and also the spokesperson. I would like to welcome Ambassador Victor Beho, who is the uncle of the deceased. Mrs. Alberta Kuate is the auntie of the deceased. I would like to welcome Ambassador Patrick Hayford, who is the uncle of the deceased and spokesperson for the family. I would like to welcome Mrs. Kwansema Dumont, who is the widow. Special welcome to Mrs. Mawena Dumont Treba, who is the elder sister of the deceased. Mrs. Trevor is the CEO of GIPC. I would like to welcome Dr. Kosi Dumont, who is the surgeon and resident in the United States of America, and he has come with the body. Kosi is the younger brother of the deceased. Finally, I would like to welcome Professor Ernest Koku Dumont, who is the father of the disease, Mr. Komla Afeke Dumont. And then I'm welcoming you all, friends, brothers, and sisters, to this special solemn gathering as we receive the remains of. Komla Dumont. Thank you. Of course, my job will be incomplete if I do not welcome the media, our brother, my nephew, the disease we all know work prolifically in the media and they have also sustained a heavy loss. Welcome all of you to this solemn occasion. At this juncture, I would like to invite Father Samuel Felton, men's son, to lead us in the Christian rites. He is standing in the stead of the Archbishop of the Accra Archdiocese. He will be accompanied and assisted by his colleagues.
We are praying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord's Prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God, eternal Father, the origin and the source of life, the giver of all good gifts. You gave Komla Afeke Dumo to us as a gift 41 years ago. He was raised in the Ghanaian culture. You endowed him with diversity of gifts and he fulfilled his destiny by dedicating himself to the cause of national development and human growth through his work. We thank you for using him as a blessing for our generation. Many people loved him, and he himself loved his people. He served the country, and he served humanity. You were pleased with him, so you gave him an opportunity to serve the international community as his work took him to the BCC, BBC. We appreciate his accomplishment in lifting the flag of Africa very high and identifying the cause of human needs. We want to appreciate what you have used him to accomplish in this life. Today marks the final journey of his trip from Europe and from the rest of the world back to the land of his birth. As we receive his mortal remains, we pray, Lord, that you will mercifully accept him to your bosom. Console all of us, wipe away our tears, and grant us the hope of the resurrection. May we also be strengthened to pursue the cause of love, peace, and unity in our service to man and to God. We thank you for this opportunity of receiving his mortal remains. May you graciously grant him peaceful rest. May the soul of Komla Apeke Dumo and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have almost come to the end of this solemn gathering. But before we conclude, I would like to introduce Mrs. Joyce 
Bawa Montari, Deputy Minister of Transport. In conclusion, on behalf of the family, I would like to extend our profound gratitude to you all for all that you have done so far and you continue to do since we had the passing of our brother, nephew, husband on January the 18th, on Saturday, January the 18th. You all have contributed immensely and with your efforts, Professor Dumont, Mawena, and the rest of the family have been able to hold on. Tragic and sudden as the event was, they have been able to cope to some extent, although with serious challenges. So, the family would like to thank you. This is the beginning. We have a lot to do. And in the coming days, you will all be apprised of developments. Thank you very much. At this point, I would like to call on Togwi Fiti, the Paramount Chief of Aflao State, to hand over the body to the undertakers. Togwi Fiti. As this is going on, we'll be having a solemn music to be played by the brass band. We acknowledge the family of the widow, the Kwanzaa family.